Today's video has underwater footage of some dangerous fish that you're going to be able to help me identify, so keep watching. My name is Kathy Sanders. I'm a surf fishing guide in Northeast Florida. If you can push a like and hit the subscribe if you've not subscribed to our channel yet. We release helpful videos to help you become a better angler. And also we put out underwater footage just like what you're watching today. This video is from a surf fishing tournament that some friends and I were fishing on October 21st for the Flagler County Sport Fishing Club. And what you're going to see here is pretty cool. We're coming on our first fish that you're going to see. We've got a, a southern, looks like a southern stingray to me, by the shape of the tail. When you see the tail pass right there, it looks like that uh, tail of a southern stingray. So that was pretty cool to see right off the bat. Of course, that was about 20 minutes into the footage. And another 10 minutes later, and we had this shark that went across the bottom of the screen. Not sure exactly what species of shark that is, so if you think you might know, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. This fishing trip took place right in the middle of the fall mullet run, so we're gonna see a lot of mullet in this video, and at the end there are some other bait fish that I'm not really sure what those are either, but if you look at the bottom of the screen there, we've got a bunch of mullet. They're gonna be coming even closer here in just a minute. Here they come right across the screen, coming right over the bait. Once I, I did see a mullet try to go after our bait, but uh, they are vegetarians, so they shouldn't be interested in what we have to offer them as we are using fish bites or salted shrimp or something like that. Huge school of mullet, they're still coming. This is not repeated at all right now. This is all just the raw video and these mullet just kept coming and kept coming. So here we've got some fish that go across the screen to the back, in the background. If you have any idea what those might be, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear what you think those fish were. You can back it up if you need to see that again, because I know it was kind of hard to see. And here we've got another shark comes across the screen. This time you're going to see it a little bit closer than the last one. And at first I thought that was a bonnet head from the, where the eyes were, but I really don't think that's a bonnet head. I believe it's another type of species of shark. I can't tell if it's a black tip or it seems like its nose is fairly pointed. So if you have an idea of what that shark might be, leave it in the comments. Along with that larger school of mullet that came earlier in the video, we have several smaller schools. Here we have just a few that come across the screen. Water's just a little bit cloudier. We had cast out to a new spot and the water here wasn't quite as clear. You can see, you can definitely tell those are mullet. I'm not gonna put the picture up because we've already put that picture up for mullet. Most of you know what they look like anyways. And here we go, 15 minutes later, we have another visitor. We have Mr. Crab that came into the screen and <laughs> it looks like he came right at the camera at first and then he realized, oh, there's food. And he goes looking, looking at that first one. He, he decides to have a little party with the second one. We're gonna speed this up here, put some music to it so you can watch Mr. Crab as he is feasting. He grabs this first piece of bait and has a big old party with it. And then this crab, you know, got his fill and there he is, he's gone. Bait is pretty much ripped right off of that float. There's not much left. So now we've cast out again. It's a little bit clearer again, but we have some fish in the background. And I zoomed it up a little bit so if you can see the shape of the body of those fish, if you know what those might be, leave a comment and I'd like to hear what you guys think those fish could be. Next up, we've got some more schools of mullet. Not too big. We had that large school when we first started, and now we just have little pockets of mullet coming into the screen. We've got another little set of mullet here, 
and they're coming the other direction this time. So all of them have been going uh, to the north, but now we've got some that are going to the south. I've slowed it down there so you can see, we can count just how many there are. How many did you count? I think I counted about 10. Now we're getting to the part of the tournament where it's getting close to the end. We had caught, I had caught a pompano, Cat had caught a black drum, and we needed some more tournament fish, so we prayed for whiting. And as you can see, a whole school of whiting came through. And I'm going to link to the video, not only in the description, but also right here. You're going to get a little card at the top where you can click and watch that video from the tournament. And you'll see where things died down. And then all of a sudden, the school of whiting came through. And as you can see, we slowed that down. That fish got hooked onto the Go Fish Cam Rig. And look how quickly he shook himself off. We didn't even have a chance to respond to that one because he shook himself off so quickly. Now check this out. We've got another stingray. Comes across the screen. Both the stingrays were going the same direction. They were going toward the south, so that was pretty cool to see two different stingray. Uh, couldn't tell if that was a southern or not. And now we've got another whiting. He looks like he was thinking about the bait. Maybe he's the one that got hooked up before, but he looked at the bait and then said nope, and he took off. And now here's a really cool one. Check this out. Look at the bottom of the screen. We've got a flounder. It came right under the line. Very, very cool. You can see his eyes popping out the top of his body there. And I believe that is a golf flounder. You can kind of see those spots. His, his body was a little bit lighter and he's got some pronounced spots on his body. If you look in the background there to the left, we have a little whiting in the back of the screen. We've got even more whiting. We had a bunch of whiting come through and they lasted about 10 minutes until they just kind of took back off and we didn't see any whiting after that. But that showed on the underwater footage, too, that for about a 10-minute time span, we had a bunch of whiting, and then they were gone. So when those schools come through, you got to be ready for them. So that's my tip, is be ready for the schools of fish. And if you catch a whiting or a pompano or one of these other schooling fish, make sure you get your line out really quickly. Here's the last thing we see. Check out these little bait fish. If you know what kind of bait fish these are, let me know. We're going to slow it down here in just a second. But right here, check out these bait fish. Let me know what you think those are, because I'm real curious. But thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We've got lots of video content. If you go to our other videos on our channel, we'd love to have you be learning as we are learning from these videos. And we've got merchandise in our store. We've got our earrings. We've got our rigs, pompano rigs and float rigs. People are winning tournaments with our rigs. So check those out. You can also purchase things right from YouTube. There's a link on our channel for the store. And we thank you again for watching. Have an awesome day in tight lines.